Hey, Professor David Stuckler here. Today I want to share with you a new powerful AI tool that I've only recently discovered that I frankly wish I would have had at the early stages of developing my research. It's going to be particularly valuable around reading to really save you time in figuring out your topic, figuring out which papers you need to go the distance with and get dirty with and really invest time in reading and papers that are maybe less relevant to you. Just at a glance, make some quick decisions. It's going to save you a ton of time. As you know, on this channel, I am committed to open access. And so this tool is open access, but like many of the new generation of AI tools for research, it has a, a, a steroid version that you can unlock with payment. Much like what I've done on ChatGPT, I'm just going to review the open access version. And if you're interested, you can check out a discount code that uh, I'm not sponsored to make this video. I genuinely think this is a helpful tool that will give you a discount on the product. So let me dive straight in. Before doing so, I just want to give you kind of background, right? When you read, you need to define why you're reading something. And there are three stages of what we call a triple pass method for reading. One is kind of the bird's eye view where you're just figuring out what did the paper do? What did it found? I'd say about 95% of your reading is here at this level. And it's really good in the early stages of research, just getting a feel, getting your feet wet, understanding what's going on and which direction you want to go. The second is a swoop. It's kind of like a bird swooping in. It's kind of you descended a bit from that helicopter bird's eye view and you're getting out forensically details about papers that you need. Maybe uh, limitations, searching for gaps, you're gap hunting, like sniffing around in the paper for what was weak, what can be done better. And then the last version is kind of the street view where you're really getting dirty with paper, like at the street view, reconstructing the paper for yourself almost as though you had done it on your own. So let me show you how this tool can really help you, I believe, with all three of these levels of our triple pass method if you use it effectively. So sharing my screen here, the big promise of this tool called SciSpace, and currently you can find it at typeset.io, is that you can do hours worth of reading in minutes. And that's a big claim, and we'll see if it actually lives up to that claim. So let me come here, and I've done one search here that a student of mine has been working on, the impact of uh, explainable artificial intelligence on trust. And what I really like here is it's gonna pull out 10 papers at a time. Again, the full version will give you more, but this is a pretty good starting point for most of what you need to do. And it will give you a kind of a quick overview and kind of the download, the bottom line of the paper. And what's cool here is you can actually select different columns and bars of things you want to include in the paper. For example, if I just want to focus on the results of the paper, I want to forensically pull out different findings, or if I want to forensically focus on the methods and pull out the methods, you can do that. It also will give you kind of a summary of the insights it gets from the top five papers. I generally recommend going to the option here and clicking top tier papers. So you're only looking at papers published in the most reputable journals, the most side of papers and really focus on those for what you want to do. And this is not going to substitute your reading, but it's really going to help in that bird's eye view method of reading at, at kind of uh, that top end to figure out, uh, and this is probably what you can do for 95% of papers of, do I really want to read this further? Is this a good paper for me? And uh, right, without having to download it, store it in Zotero, whatever reference manager you're using, um, it's also going to give you kind of a conclusion. So I can see from this paper here, uh, this found XAI is a small but significant impact impact on uh, perceived explainability and a strong impact on trust, which I'm particularly interested in. So this is going to be really interesting to me. And this is a paper I'm going to want to go get the PDF, which is right here. And I'm going to want to go spend some more time on here. I can also see this paper. Yes, it's about trust, but it's not the right trust I'm interested in. And I hope you can see just very quickly that this tool is going to save you a lot of time, not in the way you think by necessarily reading faster, but by getting rid of a bunch of papers that you don't really need to read. It's going to help you separate that proverbial wheat from the chaff and get right to the good stuff. The second thing that size space can do and has functionality for that I really like. It has other functionality like AI detectors and other things. I don't think it's as good in that space. I think there are other tools that are a little bit better. But I think this tool that it has called Copilot is quite valuable. Copilot kind of thinking of it as your little buddy, your sidekick, that's going to help you. This can be particularly useful when you're struggling to read a paper, struggling to understand it. Or again, if you're forensically swooping for specific details, um, it can pull those out for you on a, on a paper. And it tends to do a better job than that initial search that I just found as forensically pulling out those details. What this involves in Copilot is you need to upload a PDF. So if you look here on the sidebar, you've got Copilot, and I've actually uploaded a PDF of a paper, again, with a student I'm working on, on green financing. And what you can do in this paper, so it'll lock and load your PDF here. And instead of reading the whole paper, you can actually ask it a question and it will spit out that answer for you. So you could forensically go through the paper and search for this yourself, which again, these AI tools are good. They can save you some time. If you really need to be 100% sure you've got that right, there is no substitute for doing it by hand. If you're wanting to do something quick and dirty, 
30 with maybe 20, 30 papers, this can do it a whole lot faster. And you can then interrogate Copilot about the paper. So here I wanna ask, what are some research gap the paper proposal for future research, right? I'm going out now, I'm harvesting gaps from papers. And it's pretty cool. It's gonna cite for you and it will take you directly to the paper where this is found. So you don't have to go dig for it yourself. Um, different suggestions it has about research gaps. This saves a ton of time. This is, for me, this is a bit of a game changer. This is really, really cool. It will change the way you read. Again, it's not gonna be a substitute, especially if you get to the third pass of the triple pass where you really need to get deep and kind of cuddle up with the paper and get to know it very well. But if you know what you're looking for and you don't necessarily have to or worry about extracting the precise detail and maybe getting it wrong. This makes a very good first pass of the paper of getting out vital information, figuring out if you want to go further. Uh, again, this channel, I am responding to your request for AI tools that you would like to see me review and I'll, I'll try to make them really as accessible to everybody as possible reviewing the open access version. If you would like me to review some of the paid versions, let me know in the comments below. I can look into it, but I really think wherever you are in the world, this tool has a lot of power and I don't often recommend a tool, but this one I think is pretty good and I've personally begun to use it with my students. Hope you enjoyed that. I've got another video reviewing some literature review tools you're not gonna wanna miss.